Hi, I'm Andy Luban, the product trainer at Alliance Laundry Systems. I'm just going to take a few minutes to talk about what the normal eco cycle is on our Speed Queen top load washers. Now, I say washers because we offer two different models. We offer the new electronically controlled models, yet we still offer a mechanical timer controlled model. Now, the normal eco cycle was developed to meet the Department of Energy standards or regulations for both water consumption and energy usage. When the normal eco cycle is selected on our current timer controlled model, regardless of the temperature selection, the machine will first fill with cold water. Once the pressure switch is satisfied or it's completely full, agitation will begin and the timer motor will begin to advance. Shortly after the timer motor advances, there will be an additional timed fill of either hot, warm, or cold water, all depending on what was selected by the user. This would raise the water level about a half inch to an inch from the earlier 2015 models. On our electronically controlled models, the machine begins filling simultaneously with cold water and a small amount of hot water depending on which temperature selection was made. Then the machine finishes filling with all cold water before advancing into agitation. Now this restriction is unique to the normal eco cycle only. While we still use a full tub wash with agitation, on both electronically controlled and timer controlled models, we do not use a full tub rinse bath. Instead, we use an aggressive series of spray rinses. I want to remind you again that this is unique to the normal eco cycle. All other cycles will have a full tub rinse bath. I'm Andy Luban and that's how the normal eco cycle works on Speed Queen top load washers.